Hi, I'm Faith Saley, and we're here in the studio at the Lexus Hybrid Living Lounge at the Sundance Film Festival. And it's my pleasure to interview the director of the documentary Stranded, Gonzalo Arijon, and one of the survivors of the story of Stranded, Roberto Canessa. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. This story is very personal for both of you. You weren't just a filmmaker who came in and decided to chronicle it. Can, can you give me the background on how you're both yes, involved yes. in this? Yes, I, 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 I born in the, same, in the same city like the survivors and then I decided 35 years after uh, the facts to make uh, this film. You were in a plane that crashed in 1972? Yeah, that was 35 years ago. I were on a rugby team. I was 19 years old. And we went to Chile from Uruguay to have this rugby match. And everything looked very normal. We were fooling around on the plane. And then suddenly the plane crashed against the, the Andes Mountains. And I couldn't believe what was going on. I mean, you're crashing there. You're dying. I said, bueno, podía morir. Y esa duda terrible de si está Dios después de la muerte o no, se me va a develar frente a mis ojos. We were 45 people in the plane, 29 uh, survived on the first night, uh, three more people died. We were stranded there at 15,000 feet with uh, freezing temperatures. And in the following days, we began to, to develop a way to survive. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's a very strange sensation because you're like dead alive. And you hear this, people are drinking ice creams and they're having good fun, having a good time. Yeah, on the radio, they, they hear the We the had a little radio there, there and we, we were here that the oh. world was going on w without us. And the <laughs> tenth day, the search had been called off. So it's on the tenth day? On the tenth yeah. day, because no plane had survived any crash of the Andes. So we had to, to, to resort on uh, taking the dead people and eating a, a dead friend is uh, an experience that you can only understand if you're up there. Nando tenía los motivos muy fuertes que lo, lo expulsaban de, del avión. Era decirle a su padre que estaba vivo y que no llegara a circunstancias horribles de tener que tomar el cuerpo de su madre y su hermana. Entonces Nando era el más apurado por irse. For myself, the only thing I could think is if I were, was, was dead, I would be honored that someone would use my body to survive. I, I feel very, very close to this story, and, uh, and uh, when I, I moved to Europe and I, uh, I became a filmmaker, I, I tell to me, one day I must do this film. I feel that the other films, the other works uh, who, who was done before this film doesn't uh, translate the real um, the real experience they 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 live up there all 16 survivors are a part of your film yeah if if one of them had said no i don't want to be a part of this or i don't want you to tell this story what would you have done yeah well, it happened many times <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want to yeah. read the film i yeah. remember that yes right? uh, for for me it was uh, a condition to have the whole group that's one of the reasons I, I think that Gonzalo had to make this film because I think that the, the audience of the world needs to know about yourself, needs to, to, have, to know that you have a, a survivor in the, in, the, in the deepest part of your soul. Well, we're very grateful to you both for telling this story. Thank you, Roberto Canessa and Gonzalo Arijon. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. For more information about this film, go to SundanceChannel.com.